Hello Libra. Keep in mind that no reading can resonate with every Libra on the planet every time. Also keep in mind that energy could be reversed. So if I say that you did something and you know you didn't, it simply means to be aware that someone in this situation most likely did, whether you are aware of it or not. When I was meditating, I got that some of you could be having issues with gut health, meaning the stomach area. Um, might check into that if you feel that that might be something to look at for you. Also, um, it could be just that you have a gut feeling about something or, um, I don't know. It could be something like that, but it had to do with that area. Also, I got a smudge. So this could be that you're trying to smudge something or maybe it's a significant thing to look for, a smudge. But also, I do feel as if the smudge also has to do with needing to smudge because there is bad energy around you. For some people, lemongrass, for some reason, is coming to mind rather than sage. Or whatever that means. Anyways, so you could be defensive. It could have something to do with the home. You're trying to balance out your emotions and to recover a reunion. Because of a victory, you are defensive about the past. Or you're trying to reunite for a victory because you're defensive about the past. I'm seeing another one that I'm, it's catching my attention that their legs are crossed, so... It could be that some of you are ashamed of something that you've done um, in the romantic department or ashamed of your sexuality in some way. It doesn't have to be. Okay. Anyway. So we already know now that you have a guilty conscience about a victory or a reunion potentially in the past. You're experiencing some kind of turmoil. And you are trying to pull yourself out of that. You are feeling very passionate about something. And you are intently focused on your goals. For some of you, there could be 
Um, this is weird. I'm seeing two different things from this. One is like a beauty salon. Or somebody pulling somebody else's hair. <laughs> but I'm also seeing a child. It looks like opening a gift maybe. I'm also seeing like a cat in the hat thing, so you could be using wordplay. Okay, enough of that. So, anyways, there's some sense of um, conflict going on here. You're trying to dig yourself out of it. It looks as if you could be putting on your, I don't know how to word this. You're trying to charm your way through a situation. If you look at the difference between the face on the upheaval card versus this woman, You've got this really, really angry, livid person who is pretending to be like, oh my gosh, not necessarily that, but trying to appear loving, adorable, cute, trustworthy, something like that. Because you're clinging on to a situation. Again, I see murky details. For some of you, I'm also noticing the, the cactus. So you may be planning to stick it to someone. Never noticed that in this card before. Huge secrets. Huge. Like really big. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing that some of you could have issues with the, like I said, the stomach area. Anyway. You are livid because you celebrated that someone else experienced a misfortune. So you're mad at your own emotions, maybe? I don't know. Surely you're not mad at somebody else because you celebrated their misfortune. I don't know. Whatever. You may see this person as a pig. I'm sorry, but that's what I just saw. And so you withheld some knowledge. You are in the background laughing, literally, or were. And it's a cynical nature because I'm seeing a devil face back in the trees. Looking on at this misfortune with a smile. Actually, I see two. Yeah, you're being a chameleon because I'm seeing a chameleon as well or some type of lizard. So, yeah, you're you're trying to win favor 
though you celebrated that somebody else experienced a mis misfortune. There could be somebody, oh, this is going to be stupid, but I'm seeing a guy with a mustache in the background as well. Looks like he's wearing glasses and has longer hair, but like a 70s looking person. Maybe the 70s is somehow relevant to this. I don't know. There is an infestation within your surroundings. It could be that there's more than one person involved in this. But you celebrated that this person had a misfortune because they were honest. Maybe you didn't like the fact that they were honest about a situation because you didn't want to face that whatever that truth was. There could have been a sense of shame, but also a sense of feeling trapped. And so you hid. For some of you, this has to do with a child. Also, some of you could be seeing orbs. Let's see if there's anything else I can see. Yeah, you're definitely pretending. I'm seeing so many references to pretending. Anyway, so to recap all that, you have inner conflict because you celebrated someone else's mis misfortune. They were honest about a situation. And you celebrated also that they were confused or felt confused. You were watching them. What you were watching for their responses. I don't want this glare off of my cards. Some of you could be using 420. Also, some of you could have some um, sexual addictions. We'll just put it that way. That's not everybody. Yeah, but some of you definitely do.
you're holding on to some knowledge because of this. You're covering it up in layers is another thing that I'm getting here. Like it's not just that you're covering it up, but there's layers of cover up. Lots of illusions here. Also, you could be putting yourself on a pedestal, feeling that you are somehow above this person. You like messing with their mind. You also like making them feel trapped. Or you did. I can't say that you still do, but at, at some point you felt this way. And I am seeing smudge all over this confusion card, so that could be why I saw that. But somebody's trying to get truth and trying to get past all of this and you're trying to hold them back because they were honest. If you notice, the lion is holding back this child. You could be lying and holding back a child. I'm seeing a witch in the background very clearly. That may mean something, it may not. I'm also seeing, uh, that looks like a person, it's a man though, but I can't really tell much about him. Anyway. Whoa, for some of you, because I just saw a wallet, so this was financially, you, oh wow, you could have hurt someone financially or even like stolen a wallet. I have to tell you, I'm a little bit taken aback by how much vengefulness I see in this. Meaning, taking great joy from someone else's suffering kind of thing. And for some of you, it's a child. Either way, at the end of the day, you're trying to hold them back. You have hidden knowledge. You saw things, know things about an ending that you're not telling. You could be looking down on this person.
but you don't want to be seen. Yeah, y'all, there's a lot of you that have some sexual addictions. <laughs> I'm seeing way too many. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's like you have knowledge about something, but you're not divulging it because you're taking joy in watching someone go through this or you did okay so if this reading resonates with you please give it a thumbs up feel free to share it and if you're not already subscribed please do and i'll see you again soon bye